guess how kind of how has the workload for you kind of is it added or is it the same kind of what with, with trick out just what's it been like for you the past couple of weeks uh no it's definitely definitely added up but um you know i just do what i'm told and go out to the best of my abilities and perform the best i can how I mean, what's your, your we talked to you in fall camp and before the season but how what's been your approach and your mentality kind of when you, you and trick were kind of sharing splitting the reps it felt like uh you know just kind of taking every rep i can every opportunity making the most of it i mean Every time I get on the field, I'm going to go as hard as I can, do the best I can, and perform. So, With kind of that next man up mentality, what do you kind of see in Kyrene Heath as a, as a freshman kind of coming in in this system and, you know, needing to, you know, help you out as well? You said a freshman? Uh, as in Kyron? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, no, I definitely, having him being a freshman, you know, you got to show him different things. You know, you got to prepare him differently. I mean, they haven't gone on many SEC road games, but, um you know, kind of just tell him every day of what he needs to do and how I can make him better, how he can still make me better. And, I mean, it's just a team effort at the end of the day. So, People tend to try to, I don't know, kind of put you in a certain corner as a, as a player. Like, oh, he's a, run, he's a run block guy. He doesn't really help in the passing game. Is that something that kind of motivates you to prove people wrong? I mean, I, I don't listen to any of that. I mean, I'm going to come on my own mindset. And, I mean, I'm not going to let other people's – thoughts or actions dictate what I'm doing every day in day-to-day -day life. They don't see what I do on a daily basis, and I'm not going to let that affect me. But What are your memories from the last trip to Baton Rouge? If I remember right, you had a pretty big day there. Yeah, that was, um, that was my first start in 2020. Um, that was a good, it was a good game. We came out with the loss, but we did have a chance to win it at the end. But it was tw COVID year, so there wasn't as many fans as there will be this week. But Well, that was kind of what I was going to say. I, it, talking to Kyron and some of the younger guys, are y'all veterans kind of telling them, hey, you know, we didn't get the full thing two years ago, but what can they expect, even though it's an afternoon game, not a I night mean, game? Especially these SEC games. I mean, you go in every week expecting not the worst, but expecting their best. I mean, every team's best. You know, we play in the SEC West, the best conference in America. And, you know, you go in those games, you expect loud noises, you expect fans to be booing, you saying this and that. You expect all that, and you let those younger people know, like you said, that, hey, we're going into a hostile environment. Like, we got to – not not treated differently than every other game, but you got to be locked into the keys, the calls, because you might not hear everything. But you got to see the signals and see this and that, and see what defenses they're in, and you know react off of that. And kind of going off that, you know, obviously aside from the crowd noise, when you look at this LSU defensively, what kind of stands out about you know what they do best and what you know, could provide the most challenge? Yeah, you know they got a good team for sure, but at the end of the day, it's always us against us. I mean, we're going to dictate our tempo. We're going to do what we got to do to get out there and perform. I mean, that's, that's all it comes down to. From your perspective, how have you seen kind of Jackson now he take that step, having now, now the guy over these past few weeks? No, he's definitely grown into more of a leader, more of a consistent leader, and we can, you know, we look to him. I tell him every time, every drive, I say, we roll when you roll, too. We roll when you roll. When you get going, we get going. We all feed off of you. We look into your eyes every play, you know, and we see what you see. So once you roll, we roll. Lane was in here Saturday talking about, you know, after Bingo had that record-setting performance against Vanderbilt, he, you know, got shut down last Saturday. But talking about, you know, how sad it was, you know, to get those um, crackback blocks, you know, allowing his runners to get space and all that. What does that go to sh show about Bingo just as a teammate on this team? I mean, we have so many unselfish players, especially on our offense. I mean, we, we want to win. I mean, that, that's the bottom line of everything. We don't care about uh, individual stats. We don't care what – people do here, what people do there. If we come out with a W and we do it the right way, then we're happy. We're all happy in the locker room. That's all we want. And you see, we're 7-0. and we got to keep it rolling as we can. A lot of talk about the 7-0 and start, best start since 14. Were you following the team yet in 14, or were you not uh, watching Ole Miss yet until Chad got here? Yeah, probably not, probably not until Chad got here. No, no, sir. You talked to Chad at all about if this team is better than any of the ones he was on? You got uh, smack about that? Hey, the only rankings that matter are the final rankings, as you all know. So we can't, we can't speak on all that yet. You've been here for some time and kind of seen this progression since Kiffin got here. Just from now to where it was three years ago, how have you seen this program evolve as a package? Oh, most definitely. I mean, you see, you see more kids come every day ready to prepare. I mean, let, uh, when I first got here, we were an afternoon program. And especially doing that, you know, kids are going to school earlier before, but now we're a morning program. You, you see kids attack each morning differently. And, you know, it's great when everybody, like, is in the locker room without the coaches and we're like, all right, come on, y'all. Like, it's Tuesday. Like, it's work day. Like, let, like, let's get better each other. Let's work each other. Defense, work us. Hit us. Like, hit us hard. We'll hit you hard. I mean, Tuesdays, Wednesdays are a few days to get right. So that's what we got to do.
When you're in the situation at this point in the season where, you know, you have a start like like y'all have had so far and then you have games, you know, that are going on just a little bit later, like, you know, Tennessee, Alabama or some of these games that have implications of what could happen down the road. Do you find it do you find it kind of hard or, you know, kind of easy to just look at and, what, and everything that's going on outside of you, but at the same time kind of controlling what y'all can control? Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, control, we control. Each player is individual in itself. Each game is individual in itself. I mean, you focus on that week and that week ahead only. And once you get through that week, get 1-0 and in that week, then you focus on the next week. How, how can we go 1-0 and again? Thank you. Thank you all.